Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you 10 different ways that you could find audition songs. So if you don't have an audition song yet, then I highly recommend you watch this entire video. So first, I'm going to be going over some information that you'll need to know if you are applying to colleges. And if you're not, skip to this time for the tips. So if you're applying to musical theater programs, you're going to need both an up-tempo and a ballad. And one of those should be contemporary and the other should be a golden age or legit song. You will need a few other categories. And for more detail about that, I highly recommend you watch my songbook organization video. Now something you need, need, need is for your songs to be contrasting in style and sound. This is so important because it helps show off your range as a singer, and you really don't want your second song to sound like a continuation of your first song because that's just boring. So what you should do is have friends and family listen to your songs and let you know if they are contrasting because it took me way too far into the audition season to realize that they weren't contrasting enough and so I ended up having to change my song and you really don't want to have to do that. You want to have the correct songs at the beginning. So have people listen to your songs, it's very important. And something to think about is you wanna have a story throughout your entire piece, even if it's only 32 bars or 16 bars. You don't want the character to stay the same. You wanna show a clear beginning, middle, and end. And for more on that, definitely check out my video on how to act a song or a monologue. And once you've found your audition songs, we either wanna go see the musical or you want to watch it online, or just read the description because you want to understand the circumstances of the song and why this character is singing it. And I also have a video with 15 things that you should avoid when choosing material, so definitely check that out. All right, so now into the tips. So the first place to find audition songs is my website. And if you go under the materials tab on my website, you'll see I have lists of songs based on your voice type and just general lists of songs. And I also have different musicals you should listen to to find songs as well. And with the long lists of songs, I really recommend just going through it one by one, either with Spotify or YouTube, or you can create a Spotify playlist and listen to it when you're in the car or when you're just doing day-to-day -day activities. And as you look at the lists, I would recommend just skipping over the overdone things. And as for the musicals you should listen to, I would recommend listening to about two a week. And again, just have the music playing when you're doing day-to-day -day activities. And when you're looking for material, a little bit each day goes a long way, even if you're only spending 15 minutes. That's a lot better than just being like, I don't have an hour to spend. I'm not gonna spend any time. And then you spend zero minutes, which is worse than 15. The second thing you can do is go on to Spotify and look at the daily mixes that it gives you because it will give you new songs mixed with songs you already love. And if you have a Spotify, you can actually sign up for the Discover Weekly playlist and it'll give you completely new songs that you haven't listened to. And if you don't have Spotify, if you start using it after a few weeks, then you can get that playlist. And if you like a song, make sure to put it on a different playlist because it will go away after a week. The next place is the Stage Agent website. And if you go on their website, you can filter songs by your gender, your voice type, your age range, among other things. So that's definitely a great website to look into. The Musical Theater Songs website is another great resource. And on their website, you can choose from several different categories to find new songs. And then yet another place you can look is the Theater Nerds website. If you go to audition songs on their website, you can use a filter and find tons of great audition material. This next one I think is a fun one, is to find an actor that you really like, that you think you're similar to, and then go into IBDB and look at their resume and see the other shows they've been in and then listen to those musicals and find new songs that you can sing. You should also look up this performer on YouTube and see if they've performed in any cabarets or at 54 Below because you might find some really great songs that they sing there that you could do for your auditions. You can also look up a show that they've been in on IBDB and then go to replacements and see who also played the same part as them. And then you can go to that person's resume and see what shows they've been in. And then you could find even more musicals to listen to. The next thing you can do is ask people for suggestions. So ask your vocal coach or your friends, people who just went through the musical theater audition process or people who are studying musical theater because I'm sure they have tons of great suggestions for you. The next thing you can do is 
find a composer you really love. Now, if you don't have a composer you really love, find a musical you really enjoy and then see who composed it. And then once you've found a composer, you can look up what other shows they have composed and then listen to those musicals and then find even more audition material. The next thing you can do is watch people's pre-screens and musical theater reels on YouTube. So many people have auditioned for musical theater programs and there are a lot of those videos online. So you can go through those videos and add their songs to a Spotify playlist and then just see which ones you like and which ones you don't like. And another thing you can do is get college audition coach. Not only can they help you find songs but they can also help you find monologues and it'll make it so much easier. Obviously this isn't something that everybody can do because it is expensive, but it's definitely a great option if you have the money for it. And that was already 10 things, but I'm gonna say one more and that is do something that you have already done. If you've been in different musicals, either if you've been the lead role singing a song you could do for your audition, or if you're just in a musical and you are in the ensemble, but there's a great song in that musical that you're really familiar with because you heard the lead sing it a million times, you could do that song as well because you're probably very familiar with it. The only thing to think about with this one is just staying away from overdone material. So those are all the tips I have for finding songs. I hope you found this video helpful and definitely check out the links in the description because I will have college audition coaches and I will also have all the websites that I talked about in this video. And if you enjoy this, like the video and definitely leave your questions below or any videos you want me to make. And make sure to subscribe because I have so many videos coming out and have a wonderful day. Bye.